have a very exciting video to do. I'm so excited. If you're part of the Snapchat fam or if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw this, but crazy, right? I got this PR package from YSL Beauty. I've never gotten PR from them and I I think I legitimately screamed when I opened this because it's so beautiful, look at this. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> they sent me the new foundation which is called the All Hours Foundation and I got a couple shades to choose from. I also have the concealers to try out from the same collection, so the All Hours concealers and the All Hours primer. So I thought I would just do a video like testing out all these products just because I was interested and I was also very shocked when I got this package because I've never received PR from um, YSL. And they also included a little beauty blender. So we're gonna use that today. And this is the coolest part. A bougie little brush, YSL foundation brush. And it literally has my name on it. It's crazy. The foundation itself is supposed to be matte. It's supposed to be full coverage. It's supposed to be oil free and it's supposed to wear for a very long time, for 24 hours. We'll see how it goes. I think this is gonna be my shade, which is BD45 W Bisque. I'm hoping that it works out for me. Oh wait, primer. What am I thinking? I'm pretty excited to use this, not gonna lie. It, it's very liquidy. Don't make that same mistake that I just did. Very liquidy, but um, seems to be blending in pretty nicely. I mean, obviously I just applied way too much, but I think it's gonna leave your skin with a really nice dewy finish. Y'all know I like the dew. Let's put this baby to the test. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells so good. It smells good. <laughs> oh, it really does smell good though. It feels a little, not greasy, but definitely moisturizing. Lightweight, smooth. <laughs> Blending in real nice and easy there. <laughs> Whenever I rub my face, my face gets so red. That's not me having an allergic reaction, if you're wondering. Boom! Let's go ahead and get into this foundation. Honestly, this smells really good. I feel like I can't really review it or tell you that much about it until we try out the foundation. Should I use the brush? Should I use the infamous Roxette Arisa YSL brush? I'm just gonna pretend that I did a collab with them and you know, had my name on it. We doing big things over here, fam. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the consistency is because I haven't swatched any of these shades. I haven't like looked at them. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. Boom. Boom. Oh, this smells really good too. Luxury, that's luxury right there when your makeup smells good. First thing I'm noticing is no joke, it like glides on like velvet and it just kind of like seeps into the skin. I don't know how else to explain that. I don't think I've ever used a foundation like that. That just kind of like really gets down and dirty into those pores right away. Because the foundation itself is so lightweight and it's really creating an even base on its own, I almost don't even need the blender. But we're gonna use it a little bit anyways. The foundation does oxidize a little bit. It does have um, SPF 20 in it. So you can see like, I'll put it on my forehead and you'll see a difference between this color and this color. I'll put a little bit more on my cheek just so you could see, but see how it's like lighter at first when you apply it. And then as you blend it in, as it sits on the skin, it's gonna get darker because it has that sunscreen in it, which is making it oxidize, which honestly at Sephora, they have a pretty good return policy. And you know, if you purchase a shade that oxidizes on you badly and doesn't work out for you, you can always go back in and um, you know, exchange it or whatever. They're pretty good about that there. So the oxidation thing, just something to keep in mind when you're picking out your shade. I feel like it just gives like a very light but full coverage if that makes sense. I will say that it is very full coverage. I don't think that it's matte right now. It seems pretty glowy, honestly. <laughs> but full coverage, 100 P is definitely full coverage. It's covering, you know, any discoloration, any acne scarring that I have on my cheeks, but it's not like full coverage as in heavy, if that makes sense. It's a lightweight full coverage, which is pretty cool that they were able to create that because I personally don't have that many foundations that have that aspect that is full coverage, but is very lightweight. Like I almost don't even feel like I have foundation on this side of my face. It just feels like my skin. And there are a lot of full coverage foundations that definitely, like you can feel it, you know? You can feel that coverage on your skin. And this is not one of them. Like it feels almost like a tinted moisturizer, but then you look in the mirror and you're like, bam! <laughs> I'm actually being serious. Like it feels like I have nothing on my face. Like it literally feels like I have like a moisturizer on, that's it. 
YSI, you done did good. <laughs> wow, I'm really being crazy today. The coffee has kicked in. Yes, Starbucks, come through. <laughs> Have I ever shown you guys this? <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so crazy. Oh yeah, zoom in. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so crazy today. Well, I do know why. It's because I literally just went to Starbucks and I was like, let me get some coffee because I wanna be, um, what did I say, lit for this video? Hyped, hyped, I wanna be hyped for this video. Well, honey, you got it, you are hype. Blend it into the ears, people. Kim K taught me that. Not personally, but you know, on her app. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this down my neck a little bit because when it oxidized, it actually was a lot darker than I expected. Like, look at the difference between, wait, let me get a little bit more on my neck to my face. It's actually pretty different when it does oxidize. So I thought that this um, color was actually gonna be too light, but it's a little dark for me right now because I haven't self tanned. So again, just something to keep in mind. But like, honestly, once you get your foundation color correct, you'll be okay. I think I'm probably gonna be either BD, 35 or B40, I'm guessing. But they look very different in the bottle than they do on your skin. Like it looks a lot lighter in the bottle than it does on your skin because of that oxidation. Why does my neck look so different than my face? Oh, you know what it must be? The primer, because I obviously didn't put the primer on my neck. When I put that foundation on my neck, it is very matte. Very, very matte. But because I think, because this primer, like I had showed you guys, it has a very, very lightweight consistency and when I am rubbing the primer in by itself, it already has that dewy, luminous finish to it. Like you can see a lot of radiance already. So that must be what it was. When you use the foundation with the primer underneath, it has a bit of glow to it. Whereas if you use the foundation on its own or probably with a mattifying primer, it's gonna be very matte because my neck is very, very matte right now. Like I literally, I've never seen my neck so matte in my life. So there you go. Well, I'm glad that I like tried it out on the neck too, just so that we could see the difference because I didn't actually think of doing that. I probably should have done like half my face with the primer and half without, but I didn't even think about that. So I'm glad I put it on my neck to see how matte the foundation itself really is because whew, that's matte, it's real matte. We'll do little swatches of the foundation before I move on to concealer. It's going lightest to darkest. So I actually have this one on right now. I feel like I probably should have had this one on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I didn't know that it was gonna oxidize. So that's kind of the point of testing out this makeup, obviously. And hopefully you guys can uh, choose a better shade than I did. Okay, let's try out this concealer. I'm so excited. So I have the shade three and four. I'll just do a mini swatch of these for you since there's only two. That's three right there. Oh my God, my hand to my face. I was not expecting this oxidation. I'll be honest, you guys. I was like, all these shades look so light for me. Like, I don't think I'm, none of them are gonna be dark enough. I was wrong on that. I was definitely wrong. This is the shade four now. I'm probably gonna choose three for this one because it has more of a yellow to neutral undertone. I'm so used to my uh, Tarte Shape Tape wand that this one feels so small. It's like a quarter of the size of that Tarte one. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, do a little zhuzh there, even though it's a kind of light. We'll see how it blends out. We'll see how it goes. If it gives us any coverage or if it's just kind of like a lightweight brightener or something. I've actually never tried the YSL Touche Eclat. You know that, like, I feel like that's one of their more famous products um, as far as like beauty goes, but I've never tried it. So I'd be interested to know if you guys have tried it, comment down below if you like it or if you don't, because I feel like it was very hyped about and I just like never tried it out or anything, but I'd be interested to know if you guys have tried it, if you like it. The biggest thing that I'm noticing is like these products just feel so lightweight. Like they literally don't feel like you have anything on. Boom, gotta get right under that wing. Good shade, good job Rox. You picked one shade out correctly. I think this is a very nice under eye concealer. This shade is pretty brightening for me and it does have pretty good coverage I would say. It's not as full coverage as like Tarte Shape Tape, but it's also not as heavy feeling. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage. It's probably pretty buildable because it does have that lightweight consistency. But over here, my acne scarring is like starting to show through. So there's that. It's okay, we'll embrace it for today. Normally I would try to cover that shade up, but 
I want to give you guys an honest review, obviously, and show you guys how the products are, you know, really wearing. But yeah, I like that. Definitely not matte. Definitely not matte. It looks pretty skin-like, you know? Doesn't look like cake. Approval right there. I got the nod of approval. So those are actually all of the products that YSL sent over I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face with just like my normal face products and everything and I'll come back with my final opinion after I've been wearing it and also it's interesting to see especially for foundations and concealers How products apply over top of them like how they blend out how they wear on top are powder is gonna cake up on this concealer because I have had concealers that do that where I feel like it looks good and then I put powder on it and I'm like, ugh, that is not good. That is not good. So we'll see how this foundation and concealer and primer combo wears once I have all my makeup on. Okay, when I put the powder on though, like it did become matte, like really matte. I went ahead and judged it up a little bit, added on some powder, did some baking, a lot of bronzing over here, did some blush and you know, that glow we got going on. The foundation is 58, is it worth that? I will say it's a good one. I will say that, it's, it's doing something for me today. Making me feel a little better than normal. That's all you can ask for. You know, when you feel like you're having a good skin day because of the makeup you put on, that, that makes it worth the money for me. First thing I noticed, the foundation got so matte so quickly. As soon as I put on like a tiny bit of powder, the foundation turned completely matte. So now I can kind of, you know, see where they were going with the flawless matte finish because definitely matte once you powder it. Like I said, I only really used a little bit of powder and it just completely mattified my face. For me, it wore more as like a medium to full coverage foundation, very lightweight. I almost don't even feel like I had anything on my face. Just like the flawless finish, for sure. I think it looks really, really nice on the skin. Let me get real up close and personal here. I think that it, um, you know, blurred out some pores, blurred out some porous areas on my face. I think it wears really well and I'm not getting creasing. You guys know, especially those of you who are already subscribed, I always get creasing here in the smile lines and I'm really not getting that. And I've been talking this whole time. Like I've been laughing and talking and smiling and like I haven't gotten increasing, which is crazy because normally if I have been talking for this long, I definitely would have had creasing. So that's another positive for the foundation for me. Would I spend $58 on it to repurchase this? Yes, 100%. $34 for the concealer. It's very blendable, very lightweight. Like I said, hydrating, it's moisturizing. It has a very nice coverage to it. Do I think I'm gonna use this whole bottle? Probably, because I really like th the way it feels. I like the way it applied. Would I purchase this with my own money? Yes. The primer, also $34. It's very lightweight. It's moisturizing. It does give your foundation a dewy finish. And I love the smell. I would say that the foundation and the concealer for sure are worth it. The primer is kind of like up to you because I like the primer. I liked how it wore. Um, I liked that it actually gave, gave you some dewiness and some moisture. But are there other ones that are more affordable? Yes, there are other primers that will definitely work and will work with these foundations or with this foundation and this concealer combo. So um, that is it. Uh, yeah. Obviously this video was not sponsored at all. I don't wanna see any comments thrown shade at me saying this was sponsored because it isn't. I wish YSL would sponsor me, please. YSL, let me call you up. You wanna sponsor a video? Sponsor Roxy Teresa? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this video wasn't sponsored at all, but I just wanted to try out these products for you guys. And thank you YSL for sending me these. Obviously, even though I did get this in PR, um, I told you guys my honest opinion as I was wearing the products. If I didn't really like something, I would have told you guys, but I really was impressed with this, these products. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you like when I test out new products and new collections. Um, and let me know if you if there's any like upcoming products or collections that you guys want me to try out. Let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe right down below. Hit that little subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you want to turn on the notifications to see all my videos. And huge thank you to YSL for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. It made me feel so special. This is my first ever PR box from YSL. Mi corazón, como la flor, lo debo su car. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. It's the end of the night. This is my doggy. Presley, look at the camera. Say hi. <laughs>
It's like midnight now. I am so tired, but I just want to do like a little check-in because that's kind of what I normally do when I do like first impressions. So I thought I would just add it in here at the end. Um, and this is just my iPhone camera. So, you know, what you see is what you get. I'm impressed. Not gonna lie. Pretty much everything that I felt on initial application still stands true for all of the products, I would say. It's pretty crazy. It's just so lightweight. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing with this entire collection is just like, I don't feel like I have anything on my face. It didn't get oily anywhere, like anywhere on my face, which is crazy because even with most matte foundations, I do get oily in the T-zone a lot, like very oily and even a little bit like on my cheeks and I am not oily at all. Like I literally feel like a little porcelain doll or something. It still has that very flawless, um, kind of like pore refining finish to it. And honestly, like I said, it just, I feel like a doll right now. It's amazing. And I didn't crease anywhere. The concealer didn't crease. If you can see, the concealer did not crease anywhere. I didn't crease here anywhere. I'm excited. I'm excited to continue using this foundation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye. What's up guys? I just wanted to hop back on and do like a little random update on the foundation um so i'm actually like not even in la this is like a couple days later i went to new york and i had an event tonight and it is currently like 4 a.m right now because i got back to the hotel from the event fell right asleep and then woke up and i had gone ready really early um yesterday morning like when i was actually getting ready for the day so i have legit had this foundation on for almost 24 hours at this point. So I thought I would just do kind of like an update, a little check-in, um, even though it's a couple days after I filmed the initial first impressions because I did wear the foundation for hours, like literally 24 hours, and I'm telling you, it still looks bomb. Like it legit did not crease here. It still looks full coverage. I mean, I, just, I fell asleep and then I just woke up. So obviously there's some places where it may have rubbed off um, or like my eyeshadow is kind of like here, you know? But overall, like the foundation itself, I'm really impressed by the staying pow power and that it like doesn't get oily at all. Like this is just my iPhone camera too. So it doesn't have any, you know, special blurring features or anything like that. It's literally just the camera. So yeah. I just wanted to uh, check back in. I guess this is gonna be the end of the video, so hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, so, ow. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, oh my God, I'm, I'm literally filming right now. This is insane that you, for the past, the past three videos that I've filmed, you call in the middle of it. Say hi again. Say hi again. Say hi again. Say hi, again. Say hi to, <laughs> yes, foundation, come around. Oh, we're filming? Uh, no, there's something in my nose, no joke. <laughs> Two shades. Two shades. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed. Matt, at this point, I think I got out all my thoughts there. Got them out like 500 times. Dude, I'm gonna have, like, I literally don't even know what I've said. Like, I literally can't even remember what I've already said. I have lipstick on my teeth. Hopefully I didn't have that on there the whole time. Ah! Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm literally acting like a crazy person today. There's gonna be a lot of bloopers.